Sixers. It all starts at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver said this morning at a news conference in Japan, the league is not apologizing for Houston Rockets general manager Daryl Morey's since-deleted tweet showing support for anti-government protesters in Hong Kong, but regrets that it has become an issue as China's state broadcaster has canceled plans to televise a pair of preseason games between the Brooklyn Nets and Los Angeles Lakers in China later this week. I want to be clear that, and I think there's some, been some confusion around, around this, um, we are not apologizing for Daryl exercising his freedom of expression. I regret, again, having communicated directly with many friends in China that so many people are upset, including millions and millions of our fans. I mean, at, at the end of the day, you know, we come with basketball as an opportunity to sell dreams, sell hopes, that to, to you know, increasingly focus on physical fitness, um, mental health, and to the extent that we are causing disruption in people's lives and that we are ca causing disharmony, um, that's something I regret. And so I, I, I think, as I said earlier, I don't think it's inconsistent to both be apologetic that that was the outcome of that speech, but at the same time, support Daryl's right you know, to, to, to his freedom of expression. Maury on Friday posted a tweet with an image that read, fight for freedom, stand with Hong Kong. They later deleted the post and tweeted, <laughs> An apology. Now, China also has canceled two G League exhibition games between affiliates of the Rockets and Dallas Mavericks later this month in China. The NBA and the Nets were scheduled to dedicate a new learn and play center at a primary school in Shanghai Tuesday afternoon as part of the league's NBA Cares program. But the event was canceled by the Chinese Education Bureau and Chinese smartphone maker Vivo said Tuesday it will suspend all cooperation with the NBA. There is a lot to unpack here. Stephen A., first let's start with your reactions to Adam Silver's I, comments. I would like to start with Max, if you don't mind. I, I know I was supposed to come to me first, but I would like to hear what Max has to say about this, Max, if you don't mind. Well, sure. The, the, the U.S.-China relationship, starting when Nixon opened up China, Stephen A., it was, has always been based on mutual interests, not mutual values. And from time to time, um, this rears its head, that, that we do not share mutual values. Values, you know, the best American ideals, values are democracy and freedom, uh, especially of expression, by the way, freedom of speech. And, um, you know, it came Tiananmen Square and in different moments, this rears its head and it rears its head, it's reared its head again. Daryl Morey, tweeted something uncontroversial, saying people want freedom, essentially. The, the, you know, repressive communist governments are bad, essentially, right? That's not controversial. Is that controversial in America now? Well, but it may be controversial in China. I suppose we don't really know because the Chinese government doesn't allow for freedom of expression. So we just have to take their word for it that so many people are offended. And who knows if they're even getting the, the, the whole story over there. Um, Joseph Tsai, the owner of the Nets, went on a long thing about how complicated this issue of Hong Kong is. And we don't need to get into it here. But is he a, a reliable narrator? He has enormous business interests in China. And he, you know, you operate at the pleasure of the Chinese government. So that's not a reliable narrator, even if he's a, a brilliant guy, you know, well-educated, you know, a, a, amazing entrepreneurial career. And I'm sure much more versed in the issue than, say, I am. And yet I can't take his word for it because he has enormous business interests and China exerts enormous pressure. South Park has an episode about how much how much um, they censor China can censor speech really around the world through business pressure. The irony is the communist government can do that through through business pressure. And so people's reactions initially, the knee jerk response especially in the media that's afraid to say anything about uh, bad Daryl Morey. That's essentially the thrust of it. Bad Daryl Morey. Well, mm -hmm. Daryl Morey didn't do anything wrong. He just tweeted a simple, the sentiment was good. 
people should be free, essentially what he says. If, if you have a problem with that, that's your problem. I don't mean you personally, Stephen A. I mean whoever has a problem with that sentiment, f that people should be free. Okay, so you have a problem with it. I don't. Okay, I appreciate your perspective. <clears throat> I don't mind taking on, on my shoulders. I got a problem with it because it wasn't smart, plain and simple. I respect the hell out of Daryl Morey. Daryl Morey is a good man. Daryl Morey, Morey is an elite executive. I hope he keeps his job and continues to flourish as executive for the Houston Rockets. But that mean, that does not mean that he's infallible, that he's devoid of a mistake. And this was one of them, no matter what way you slice it. And the reason why I point to it being a mistake, Max Kellerman, is because of what you started off by saying. Mutual interest with respect to Senator Ted Cruz and others on Capitol Hill who came out and spoke glowingly in support of Daryl Morey. Ask them how many times they've had to bite their tongue in the interest of the United States of America, in the interest of whatever dealings were in our best interest as we were dealing with a communist China or somebody else. I'm quite sure that there are many occasions where they have to muzzle themselves and not speak up and speak out and speak open about every single thing because it's not just their own personal interest that they're talking about here. They have to think about a greater good. So now we transition here to Daryl Morey. We have a Houston Rockets organization that has been ingratiating itself with China for over 20 years. They're the number one franchise in China. Why? Because Yao Ming used to play for them. Who's the president of the Chinese Basketball Association? It's Yao Ming. Who basically has been over here in America, and though he's loyal and patriotic and loves his nation, in the same breath, he greatly appreciates the benefits of being in the United States of America and wanted to sort of matriculate that into Chinese culture, per se, in the eyes of some people. Who's to say what he was doing behind the scenes? Who's to say what the Houston Rockets were doing behind the scenes? The NBA does business and has been doing business with, not, with China for many, many years. The individual athletes have been doing business with them, which is why James Harden was one of the first people to come out there and apologize. Because when you talk about the money that that James Harden to LeBron James to Kobe and others have made. Think about the money that they make in China. I mean, you look at Stephon Marbury. He's a star over there. Ask Tracy McGrady about what it's like to do business in China. And those are just individuals. So when we understand the, the kind of business relationships that have been cultivated and the kind of impact as American citizens we can have on another culture. We do have a responsibility to sit up there and be careful about the things that they say. Nobody is saying that what? Daryl Morey said he was wrong. Nobody in this country had better dare say that he was wrong about what he said. That is not the issue. Tillman Fadita doesn't have an issue with Daryl Morey specifically because of what he said. Adam Silver doesn't have that issue. The NBA doesn't have that issue. What they have an issue with is that why did you say it? Why did you feel the need to do it? Particularly when we're about to go there and perform and play. You've got a situation where now millions of dollars have been lost. Jobs have been lost and all of this stuff because a basketball executive wanted to send out a tweet that ain't even 140 damn characters. At some point in time, when you're sitting at, remember, Daryl Morey doesn't work for himself. He's sitting up there and he expressed himself as an individual, but he's a representative of the Houston Rockets. He gets a check from Tillman Fertitta. Oh, by the way, his check is ballooned because of his association with the National Basketball Association. Nobody knows this better than Daryl Morey. So to me, in closing, this is what I'm trying to say. I am so sick and tired of folks acting like you get to do what you want to do, say what you want to say, no matter how righteous you may be, regardless of the ramifications, why you got your hand out for somebody else's but, money but and on. you're representing them. But there's Stephen a level a. of sensitivity. There's a level of sensitivity that we're obligated. And Max, working as employees of ESPN, it is nothing short of hypocritical for us to take a different position because guess what? Bob Iger, Jimmy Pataro, Connor Shell, and everybody that runs this organization. We work for Walt Disney. We work well, hold for on a ESPN. Hold we on a don't second. get to just say wait, wait, and wait, do wait, what hold, we want to do. Let's we can't do that. Hold on, hold on a second. Um, 
you, the, the logical conclusion of where you're going, if you go to its like absurd conclusion, I don't mean that your point is absurd. I mean, if you take it all the way to its logical conclusion, you, what that means is the powers that be must, you must kowtow to the powers that be. You must acquiesce constantly. What you're saying is like, for example, editorial policy anywhere, here or anywhere else, we can make mm -hmm. the decision that we right. can live with it and work within those rules. Or we may mm -hmm. feel, no, nope, I have to make a principled stand at a certain point right. and then deal with right. the consequences. And history actually smiles on the principled. That's what happened, you know? Whoa, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Throughout, let, let me, when, 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 when Teddy Roosevelt invited Booker T. Washington to the White okay. House, there were editorials mm -hmm. all throughout the South, and people were, you know, wanted another civil war practically. And this is, you have to consider it's not just you, it's this entire nation. Did oh. he do the right thing or not? Ma Max, Max, yeah, I, I appreciate your historical perspective. Now let me give you a little bit of history as a black person. Remember Rosa Parks refusing to give up her seat on the bus? Excuse me, did you know that she was chosen? There were people who, who sat on a bus before her. She was chosen. You know why? Because she was the perfect candidate to bring attention to the issues during civil rights that, that obviously vexed us as a community. When you thought about the, the march from Selma to Montgomery, excuse me, that was planned, that was orchestrated, that was coordinated to, to produce a desired effect. That wasn't somebody speaking willy-nilly. So emotionally with a sentence or whatever. The I'm saying to you, when you say something like that, it's not about kowtowing to executives or anything like that. It's about addressing the greater good. You're Can not addressing the greater good because you decide to throw out a 100 word or a 50 word tweet and then, oh, by the way, deleted it when the heat came up and tried to clarify it thereafter. Listen, you got to take all of these things he into may, perspective. He may have not these, considered... These are facts. He may have not thought it all the way through. Or maybe he okay. didn't, didn't realize the extent of the backlash. Does he not have an obligation think to think about, it all the way through? That's you're my still, point. You're still standing up for the behavior of a repressive communist government that will I, exert enormous... I am enormous doing no such thing. Economic, I am doing minute, no such thing. Economic pressure to silence people. No, I that's mean, not true. That's a, for that's a for, misrepresentation. I'll, I'll, I'll you should be ashamed the, of yourself for saying that. Wait a minute. That. That's I'll a misrepresentation back, of my I understand position. Joseph Syed, the owner of the Nets, who's, again, he's lived it, um, so understands yes, the has. issue better than others, but uh, not a reliable narrator because he has enormous business interests there. I understand Adam Silver says he's aware he doesn't want to offend, you know, our, our friends in China and the fans in China. I get it. But do we really know what the level of outrage okay. is since there isn't freedom of speech? We, we, we don't we, even we, know. Hold on. Hold on, Molly. Before we close, I would remind you that throughout this world, one of the things that exist is the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. I don't see folks outside of the Jewish community talking about that too often. Okay, Why? Guys, because let's guess do this. what? Let's when you come open your this. mouth, you have to be careful. Let's, okay, let's take a commercial break. Sometimes, obviously, your moral compass trumps business interests. We saw it can cost you yeah. your job. Look at the Colin yeah. Kaepernick. Uh, let's get a commercial break in. We will get yeah, into Zion and back. maybe we'll discuss I'm this as finished. well. Zion burst onto the NBA scene last night, but were Max and Stephen A impressed with the Phenom's debut? That's coming up later. First take.